Okay, retirement, right? Saving up. Maybe thought going to do it here shortly. I don't know, economic changes lately. Uh, that put it on the back burner, but we're going to find out right now. Joe Wilson, he's a financial expert, joining us here uh, this morning with, you know, how much money do we really need to retire? And, and Joe, I guess my first question is, I know what we thought we needed uh, two, three years ago <sighs> might have changed here uh, recently, huh? Yeah, the pun intended, the million dollar question, right, Frank? And I think this is the issue. There's three types of retirements that your viewers need to understand they might be fitting into. There's overfunded. You've done a great job of saving and you've got an amazing size of an account. There's underfunded and that has its issues. And then there's the constraint. And here's the challenge right now, as you were alluding to. It has been the worst start to the stock market since 1932. <laughs> Add on to that, Frank, it has been the worst start to the bond market since 1980 and 1981, 41 years, the worst start of that. So if you're in a normal 60% stock, 40% bond portfolio, you've probably seen some issues in your 401ks, in your IRAs. And so we're, we're trying to work with our clients to make sure that they're in a position where they have a written income plan so they're able to sustain things like this. Because right now, it is really challenging if you're out there kind of going on your own and you're in a 60-40 in a portfolio and you've seen the market really hit you. If, if you were at a million dollars, Frank, the average John Wayne shoot from the hip number is a 4% withdrawal rate. That would be about $40,000 a year that you could take every year and sustain a good retirement. But if you've had a 25% drop, that's gone down to yeah. $750,000. And that 4%, that's all the way down to 30,000 a year. That's a $10,000 a year decrease. So it's really challenging for folks right now if they haven't been paying attention to what they have saved yeah. in their 401k and their IRAs. And the cost of living uh, expenses too. I mean, we've seen everything uh, go up uh, here. Yeah. I mean, you look what you pay for the price of real. gas. Uh, yeah, inflation yep. is, is it's happening. Uh, that has to influence a lot of folks too because if you're you know on that investment retirement type of uh, income on a daily basis now you're paying more and you know, maybe kick yourself and think you should have put more back in the, the bank back in the day yeah it's really affecting the modern retiree when you look at gas and food milk and eggs I mean, you go to your local kroger and it, and it is amazing the cost of goods the war in ukraine's not helping when you look at the bread basket of europe not able to produce right now we've got droughts in kansas and in nebraska i think your listeners need to understand it's going to be a very costly summer and fall when you look at gas and food and so really city downing and budgeting right now especially when you're looking at maybe going into that retirement, are you overfunded? Are you underfunded? Are you constrained? What steps can you do? Because the Federal Reserve is on full, full court press to knock down inflation. And we have not seen the Fed move like this really since the early 1980s, 40 years. Wow. Uh, Joe Wilson, uh, good information. Where can we uh, get in touch with you at? OWPrivateCapital.com, go to the website. We'd love to help some folks out. You need to learn how to be and stay retirement ready, and it starts with a written income plan. Yep, and uh, if you, you know, last question here, real quickly. Uh, folks are like, you know what? I'm uh, 40 years old, I'm 50. Maybe yeah. you're, you're thinking, I didn't do things properly a couple years ago in my yeah. younger years. It's never too late. Well, that's the beauty of this, right? And we're talking two different segments here. If you're getting ready to go on retirement, this can be really scary. But if you've been in that underfunded retirement and you're in your 40s or early 50s, you have time and the market is on sale. This is where you need to sit down with a financial professional and figure out your current situation. There are things you can do right now because market has really come down okay. and you can really put your savings Give it a little shot in the arm and get caught back up right now. Sounds good, Joe. Thank you. Appreciate it. 43 minutes after night. How are you doing, Frank?